Poppy Stories A present from Monty Monty was lying in his favourite spot, thinking about when he would be able to visit his cousin Poppy again. He wondered how he could let Poppy know he was thinking about her. I think I'll send Poppy a little present so she won't forget me. Monty searched around the house for a present for Poppy. Eventually, he chose a lovely little toy kitten with a pink bow. Perfect, said Monty. Monty carefully chose a box and put the toy kitten inside. Monty wrapped the box in gift paper to make it even more special. That's it, John. Just put your finger there while I stick this bit down. Monty put a label on the parcel. To Poppy, love from Monty. And then he took it to the post office. Three days later, Poppy was lying in her favourite spot, thinking about when she would be able to visit her cousin Monty again. A noise outside made her sit up. What was that? It was the postman. And was that a parcel in his hands? Mum answered the door while Poppy barked helpfully at the window. Then Mum came into the kitchen with the parcel and gave it to Poppy. It's addressed to you, Poppy. I wonder what it is. Poppy inspected the parcel very carefully. Inside the plastic wrapper was a present. Poppy looked at the label. To Poppy, love from Monty. I was just thinking about Monty and he must have been thinking about me, said Poppy. What could it be? Poppy worked hard to unwrap the paper and found a box. And inside the box... was the little toy kitten from Monty. Wow, a new toy. Monty knows how much I like soft toys. The black fur reminded Poppy of Monty. Poppy called Monty to say thank you. Hello, Poppy. I'm glad you like your present. I love it, Monty. I'll let you know when I've thought of a name. Monty went back to his very important snooze and dreamed of Poppy opening her present. Poppy sat with Jim and wondered what to call her new toy. Hmm, a kitten from Monty. A kitten from Monty. I know, mittens. Poppy spent the rest of the day in her favourite spot with Jim and Mittens. Thanks, Monty, thought Poppy, as she drifted off to sleep. <laughs>